Young World, man, oh man. So we got DJ Envy out here on the hot seat. Talk about it was all good just a week ago. I mean, goddamn. We got Tony the Closer chasing Envy around the room like a goddamn pit bull in the goddamn bathroom. And this is just crazy because... I'm not really too familiar with the Caesar dude, the flipping New Jersey dude, everything like that. But at a time when you see Envy going back and forth with Rick Ross and all that type of stuff. But it just goes to show you, man, how life can just be turned upside down immediately. And at the same time, we got to sit here. None of us are laws, you know what I'm saying, lawyers. And we don't know exactly if there was any type of illegal things done by DJ Envy. But boy, it sure does sound like there is if you go by all these uh, stuff people are saying and stuff like that. So realistically, we don't know if he can legally be faced to ramifications based on what has been transpiring. I did see this guy, um, Caesar, the Caesar dude came and made a statement. This is what he said. He said, I was not going to address this on social media because this platform is used to tear people down and I've always wanted to use my platform to inspire. However, the fact that I am being dragged on lives and posts doesn't bother me at all because I know who I am and who I am not. The thing that bothers me is my wife, the mother of my child, is being verbally attacked. The bigger issue here is my business partner and friend DJ Envy is being brought into something he has nothing to do with. He was never given any money to do any real estate deals with me, nor has he been party to any deals, negotiations, nor partnerships that I have had with investors that I have invested in real estate with me. Him, his family, nor his reputation should be pulled into dealings he was never involved in. When you have people that are clout chasing and using other people's fame and misfortune to draw people to their platform to sell course, courses and grow their own following, you have to question their motives. If you are truly a pillar in the community and doing such good and wanting to help people on a mass scale, why tear people down? Especially when these same people you have, their phone numbers, social media is a way to create scandal and division. It's not solution based. I am a solutions based individual. I have principles and integrity. But that being said, I have done thousands of deals that have been extremely successful. When the market shifted, so did my real estate business. I'm not guilty of scamming anyone. I'm guilty of being a part of an industry that is not 100% guaranteed. So while the clout chasers chase clout, I'm going to be the man that I am. Ask those that feel like I've wronged them to get on a call with me and let's talk through how we can move forward. My email nor phone number have changed. I'm not ducking nobody. I'm not dodging nobody. I'm busy over here trying to hold my empire together so these false allegations can stop. I ask each of you that have been on lives and post recently to fact check do your research check your source research his background you can't sweep someone's else's you can't sweep someone else's door when yours is muddy i'm not going to post your misfortune over the years because i'm into inspiring not tearing another man down again i'm sorry to my wife my family dj envy and envy's entire family i love you guys and i'm sorry that individuals with nothing to lose are trying to bring you down caesar so that's what he said. So he's pretty much definitely saying that um, everybody should relinquish envy from any type of scrutiny with this matter. You know what I mean? So now you got people coming forward. Tony the Closer is saying himself within just the people he's in contact with. He said around, I think, 14, 15, 16 million, I think, that he has um, counted so far of people coming forward with the money they lost from giving to well, to, to the Caesar dude who's represented, I guess, or works with partners with DJ Envy or however the thing works like that. So he's saying it's about around that number right there. You know what I'm saying? So this is looking bad because if some lawsuits do come forth and stuff don't go right for DJ Envy, I mean, that could be detrimental to somebody's lifestyle and well-being. You know what I'm saying? It's just their personal life, the way they're used to living. It's just monumental stuff that can just upside down your whole life you know what i'm saying so but that's the statement that dude put out we don't know what the real story is that's we'll have to wait and see where it goes a lot of us are on here speculating we, we can say whatever but as far as legal um perimeters we don't know exactly if dj envy himself 
has violated any type of law, you know what I'm saying, to see if he could be prosecuted or anything like that. But it's just unfortunate, man. If I was you, I wouldn't recommend nobody really deal with real estate right now. Real estate is a business that looks good, it sounds good. Believe it or not, there's more realtors you see on social media, more than half of them, probably 75% of them in this day and age, in this market, in this economy, probably 75% of them are not doing nowhere near as good as they look that they're doing. A lot of people in real estate are basically online, you know what I mean? They're, they're The biggest part of their real estate world and business is really just coming from them getting likes and views and stuff like that online type stuff on social media, pictures, you look important, you feel important, you around nice things, you know what I mean, stuff like that. But believe what I tell you, for most realtors you know, that's really not the case. So that's what I started to realize. I had to get up out of there. A joker like me is not around to look good. If I'm not making money, I got to I got to make moves and do something that's going to be productive or I'm going to be making a certain amount of money a month. You know what I'm saying? Guaranteed money. Cause, um, or just do something like that on the side. I'm just speaking for myself. You know what I'm saying? I can't depend on... Because the thing about things like real estate is you can put all the work in that you could possibly do or go above and beyond, but it still don't mean it's going to automatically result in income. You know what I mean? And that's the messed up thing about it. But like I was saying, I wouldn't recommend anybody really get really into real estate right now unless you got a lot of money to throw around and, and to play with. Especially, all these houses are so overpriced, you don't want to get yourself into a situation where you do get a house, it's way overpriced, now you're paying a $2,500 a month mortgage, something crazy, $22,000 a month mortgage. And if especially if you don't got no 100% definite, secured, foolproof income, that's a lot of money you got to come up with a month to not have a definite, secure, 100% proof income. So, yeah, man, it's just looking spooky right now for DJ Envy.